Connor, just can you give me your sense of kind of where, where the group is at? Once again, my teammates come up short. And welcome to the honest press conferences where we're going to take on the roles of the athletes and say what they really wanted to say. Athletes, executives, there's there. I mean, hell, we had Stephen Walcom uh, admit that the rest have no idea what they're doing. So check out some of our past ones before we move too far. Oh, yeah. I, I will. And yeah, poor, poor Connor. You could just tell in, in the look on his face. And Phil nails that line so perfectly that's why it is our opener all the time but first things first we got to go to pending free agent from the new york islanders mr anthony larocco is casey sezikis as you all know my contract is is up i'm set to be an unrestricted free agent on july 28th um you know the islanders are the only team i've known uh, i've made a name for myself on that team uh, i was part of you know still am one of the best fourth lines in hockey with with uh, Matty Martz and my boy Clutter. Um, you know, we've had a lot of success over the years. Uh, I saw Matt Martin leave, but he came back, and we were intact again, and it's been, it's been a hell of a lag playing with those guys. I, I love playing with the Collie. I'm looking forward to Belmont next season. Uh, I know there's a lot of speculation on whether or not the Islanders could keep me. Um, you know, my contract, I was just up. I was making, you know, $3.35 um, I know in this cap world, a lot of teams are tight under the cap. Um, so, you know, you know, I'm, I'm not sure exactly what the landscape is going to be. I'll see with my agent on the 28th, what type of phone calls we get, but, um, I do want to come back to the Islanders. My heart's there. I grew up there and my, my family there, uh, my birth of my kids. Uh, I love living in Long Island. Um, and I, you know, I saw what happened in Matt Martin. Uh, he left kind of chased some money in Toronto. Didn't work out. They didn't give him the same role. And, you know, he came back to the island uh, where he's where it's his home. And, you know, now he's going to be there probably the rest of his career. So, um, you know, I do understand it's a business. Uh, I do want to I do want to return to the island. Uh, but if for whatever reason, uh, you know, Lou Lamorello can give me uh, what I think is an acceptable number, I, you know, I'm going to have to talk to some teams come the 28th. But uh, my heart remains on the island and. You know, I hope that's where I could stay. Casey, if it comes down to it, are you going to take the money or are you going to sit uh, and sit back and think about it and come back to the island? Because this team without you looks completely different, to be honest. Um, I know that, you know, this might be your last chance at a, at a nice payday. You're, you're getting up there in age. Uh, your next contract might not give you nearly as much. So which is it going to be, the money or the loyalty? Well, as much as I would love to make, you know, $5 million a year, you know, that's that's not going to happen. Um, well, you know, I, I might not even get any offers for, for $4 million a year in this landscape. So, um, you know, I would say if my agent and Lou can, you know. Wow. We just lost Was Anthony. something you said the case is Zegas? Yeah, I don't know. I think I, I might have triggered him. Oh, jeez. I mean. That's just terrible. I didn't even get a chance to ask my question. He'll be back in one second. That's why we're also not freaking out. <laughs> well, everybody, uh, Casey has decided to uh, skip out on his press conference. He's pulling it. <laughs> Casey, you walked out on us. What happened? Did yeah, we trigger sorry, you? Yeah, uh, no, I just uh, I just lost my connection there. It just simply went out. Um, but, uh, to, answer John, <laughs> to answer John's question, what I was saying – um, you know, if my agent and Lou Lamorello can land on a number to where uh, I was making the same I am right now, or even just going down to three million uh, flat, um, you know, I, I would stay with the Islanders in that situation. If they can't give me at least three, you know, and we're talking, you know, two and a half or, you know, two and three quarter or even less than that, then, uh, you know, fortunately I might have to say goodbye. But. Um, as long as the number is reasonable, I'll, I'll look to make it work on the island before I choose to go elsewhere. You know what? Before I ask my question, uh, Martin's father-in-law, Mr. Sison, can show you around the big city. Shit, he can. Uh, you can stay where you are on the island, and he even comes with the blue shirts. I'm sure Boomer will let you FaceTime old Matty Martin. <laughs> so... Uh, <laughs> 
What do you think? Well, so I guess, I guess answering Sean's question right there, what do you think about coming to the Rangers? Oh man, um, you know I've been an Islander for so long. Uh, that that rivalry is the greatest sports in my opinion. Um, those games are really always high intense, high intensity, and um, I mean that 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 would be tough. Uh, something I have to talk about with my wife and um, you know my family if if it came to shove where I knew I wasn't going to return to the island. Uh, then that's the conversation I would have. Uh, I know the Islander fans would probably go from loving me to booing me. Um, I know that's that's for sure. But um, I know as of right now, my my priority is trying to make it work with the island. And if that can't happen, then like I said, I'm gonna you know really start looking into what the other offers are. So I guess uh, to my question then, which is Casey, for the for the majority of the last eight years. You've played on what the Islander fans call the identity line with Matty Martin and Cal Clutterbuck. Uh, do you have any apprehension about leaving, or is that something that's making it still more attractive to stay, knowing that you know what your role is, know what your line mates are, know who your fans are, and and you know everything about the New York Islanders? Yeah, uh, Barry uh, puts a lot of trust in us. He plays us in all situations. Um, you know, we all play the same style of hockey. We all know we, what our job is out there. Uh, we all like scoring goals, but at the end of the day, our job is to create energy, crash, bang, and, you know, prevent the other team's top lines from scoring. So, um, but yeah, Casey, uh, Cal and Maddie Marks are two of my best friends, aside from being my line mates. Um, you know, leaving them, it, it would be really difficult. It's, you know, it's not really, uh, leaving teammates. It's more so leaving your family and, uh, that, that would be really tough. Um, like I said, I hope it doesn't come to that, but um, I am prepared to, to go into the mindset of having to move on if, you know, if the, we and my agent and the Islanders really can't make it work. But, um, and a lot of it's emotional. Like you said, for the last eight years, I've been playing here essentially with the same uh, line mates. So, um, yeah, it, it would be really hard to leave. So, uh, we'll, we'll have to see you the next couple of weeks goes in the conversations, but um, I'm hoping to stay with the Islanders, and if not, uh, I loved my time there. Um, it'll always be my home, um, and then I'll look forward to my next opportunity. Uh, <laughs> leaving your family, no one's asking you to pull a bro door. Ouch. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> uh, all right. All right, Casey, thank you. Eddie. Casey, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you. No problem. Thank you. Let's go All on. right. Oh, uh, that was Casey Zizekas joining us. And uh, again, uh, so Anthony, I'm going to ask you a uh, question. He's re he resigns with the Islanders, right? I'm honestly on the fence. Um, like I said, like uh, what I said is partially true. I, I do think he might have that belief if the Islanders can at least come close to the number that he was making this past season. Um, you know, being that. You know, he, he's he's really what needs to be an Islander, along with Matty Martz, that I think he would look to stay. But if, like I said, if the Islanders can at least touch that $3 million number, which alone would be a pay cut, then I, I then I think he's out. But um, I, I think if the Islanders can reach that, that $3 million threshold, um, you know, he might take a discount to stay. Because, again, I don't, I don't I really don't see a team giving him $4 million a year. So if the Islanders can can stay close to that number that he, he was making or, or like I said, even just at 3 million, I think there's a possibility, but honestly, it's, it's really a coin flip to me right now. I think it'd go either way. If you like that video, we got a lot more. So check out any of these that are right over here and don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Mm, your ideas are intriguing to me and I wish to subscribe to your newsletter.